Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Yesterday I did not have any much chance actually to share my analysis on silver. I did mention that I'm looking at silver uh, and I'm looking at it as a bearish uh, major trend um, at least for near future. I wouldn't say major term, a major trend, I would say medium term trend. So major trend still stays uh, upward but medium trend stays down. That's what I'm looking at it right now. I'm going to share my analysis on silver today and reason why I'm thinking like that so that it can give you some confidence and it can give you some important points as well. I've already shared my gold analysis for this week. If you want to see it, please head back to my channel and then you'll be able to see that. So first things first, uh, on a weekly chart we have seen that the uh, prices of silver actually turned around to $30 and then have stayed around that area since quite a few months right now. So I want to mention one thing important and this is uh, coming from uh, WDCAN analysis. I've applied the percentage rule on WDCAN analysis from top to bottom of the silver price in the last 10 years and I've realized that we have found support or resistance exactly, uh, resistance for this trend exactly at 50% and that is saying something. And then we have tried 2-3 times to penetrate this level and so far we have not been able to successfully uh, cross this level. So this is saying something. We need to understand that uh, things change, so we are looking at it in that regard. So we have created this top, uh, this top, at least two tops have already been created, have been created. Whether this is going to be another top, we'll see in near future. So what I have done is I have uh, using uh, different time studies. I have uh, extended this uh, time analysis to another year. So f starting from this top, we have extended this analysis to another the time frame analysis to another year and a half about 18 months and uh, that's what you're seeing in front of you so we have one two three and four equal divisions until the time target which is around july 24 25 uh, 2022 so that actually gives actually 12 months not 18 months that actually gives us 12 months let me have a look once again i don't want to make sure i don't mess up So not only have we have divided the the time uh, into, into four equal uh, parts, but we have also divided the target price, which is from top to bottom, which was recently bottom created. So and the recent top, we have divided this into eight equal proportions to to find out where exactly important support and where exactly important resistance levels are lying. So if prices actually go through those levels, we can actually see which way is the major trend. And I have divided, I've also, uh, I'm now in front of you, I'm going to draw some um, diagonal angles, that's what can call them. So diagonal trend lines basically, you can consider that from on top to uh, future expected bottom. And whether we will create a bottom, that's another thing, we won't be able to disc uh, see that till actually happens. But I have drawn this angle to find out important support and resistance points. So from this top, this top, this is one by one angle and so far we don't see we see uh, prices going up and checking this level so this is gives us an indication that probably this is a good level this is a good trend line we'll draw another uh, sharper trend line and this is two by one all right uh, actually this is two by one and we also see that kind of prices went up and kind of tested this, retested this level so this is also looking good and uh, let's meet these other squares for different angles. Let me make it bigger so you guys can see it actually better. Let's draw one more angle downwards from top to bottom and see what's happening. So this did not work accurately but we can still see that the prices went up and then when they rejected in this range they came and they found a target in this range right on that line too. It's not exactly accurate as I stated that it needs to be uh, followed with a key point in mind that where important support and resistance are lying. So we have uh, some more angles to draw. I'm going to quickly draw them so we can discuss them later. Look at that, how charming it is that the, such an important angle is coming and we're finding support and a very important angle. And this is exactly a 1 by 2 angle, alright? 
going into uh, one gear ahead so we'll draw all these angles this one is no use so we can actually we can't get a picture right now if you want you can draw more angles I'm gonna draw one more angle right over here just in case uh, at the 25 just in case something happens just in case prices go upward so I'm finding right now that prices from this angle have almost touched this exact angle twice once and twice and our Elliott wave analysis is also indicating that for gold at least that we are seeing downturn price movement another important thing I want to include here right now for, for silver is that if you draw a trend line to support the prices movement upward then this gives an important indication this trend line can be confirmed right now we have one two three four and five points so we can actually rely this on this trend line quite enough we have seen that not only this trend line got broken but we have also seen kind of a retest of the support angle as uh, support area as well so this is giving an important hint I'm considering that we should actually consider this price movement uh, this price target as an important price target and uh, I am bearish in at least medium term uh, depending on these resistance and support level this is giving me an indication that we have find support on the this angle which is coming off the top and we have also broken the support of the prices moving upward so this also gives an indication if you pay attention this also gives an indi indication that we have probably heading down in this range right so for a price target remember silver can move sharply let me show you what actually silver can do so silver you can see that in this range silver stayed in a very work for a good while and then all of a sudden we saw huge drop in price I'm not saying that silver is gonna grow major major trend but there is a possibility if silver actually can extend the drop there is a possibility for initial test of this area and if silver can pass through that area there's a possibility that silver might actually create a double bottom so keep that in mind it looks very very unlikely that we will have seen but again once we have seen last year what happened to oil as well so keep these things in mind and uh, if you want to draw these angles I've already shown you the process I'm once again I'm bearish on gold I'm bearish on silver I wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye